good morning everybody I've got a little friend here I've rescued this little one this morning um, Shine and I walk to school every morning as some of you know uh, and we saw this little fella following behind some kids at school so I believe she followed those kids from home to the school and they went on inside the building and went inside and this little one was just a shivering when we got up there to check out the puppy or the dog or whatever and see you know what was going on so this little thing poor thing she was pacing back and forth from one door to the other to the gym of the school wanting inside so bad and we got up there to her let her smell us and everything and um, she was acting kind of skittish mostly she was shivering so I don't know if it was for nervousness or she was cold probably and most likely both um, it was really cold out there this morning um, and uh, but when Cheyenne, you know, and I knelt down there to her level and stuff, she ran over there to Cheyenne, licking her on the face and everything. And uh, she let me pick her up, and I carried her into the school. And I was like, you know what, you know, I just, I hated to see leaving her out there. I know it's very likely she belongs to somebody, even though she, as you can see, has no collar, no information on her, nothing. Um... But I did leave her, um, or leave my information at the school so that if somebody is, come, you know, comes by looking for her when the kids gets out of school wondering where she's at or anything like that, some of the other, uh, or several of the other kids saw me with her <clears throat> and, uh, they said that, they knew the dog is from their neighborhood somewhere and that her name was Diamond. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to go search in the neighborhood, you know, finding the owners. And I had no idea. And she couldn't leave the school grounds to show me or anything. You know, obviously, she's trying to get comfortable, go sleep. <laughs> so, um, but I did let the, the child know that, you know, if she does know who it belongs to, to let them know that I've left my information at the school so that they could call me. Um, I already gotten attached to her as you can tell she's kind of she's real cuddly she's just a puppy I can tell by the puppy smell you know just she I think she's just getting out of puppyhood though because she doesn't have the puppy breath um, she just all in her, her skin and her fur still smells puppy. Um, I don't know that she'd get a whole lot bigger than this, which would make her a perfect indoor dog or traveling dog. Um, I still love my star and I'm still taking care of her. I hate having her out there, Nicole, but at least she's got a dog house and everything, you know. And, and from time to time, I've brought her in. To spend some time with me and things like that. Um, she's just such a big dog and so much like her mom, so destructive. So, unfortunately, we haven't been able to keep her indoors. But from what I can tell so far, this one is little. She is not destructive yet. Of course, I haven't had her, but for a few hours, maybe. She's not able to tump over the trash can and these other things. Um... Granted, if she is a puppy at all, she would still be chewing on things, and that would be probably a problem, like chewing on wires and whatnot. But, um, uh, I'm kind of hoping that the people or nobody calls, but if they do, um, you know, at least I have known that I've done a good deed to take care of this little fella. Because she, she's, as you can tell, she's happy now. She's not shivering. She seems to be content and warm and happy in here got her some food and stuff so um she let me take some pictures so i posted some pictures of her on facebook um one of the reasons i don't think that she's gonna get a whole lot bigger is her paws if she let me <laughs> 
show what her paws look like. They don't look that awful big. Like on some puppies, you can kind of tell, you know, their paws look really big for their size. Like they've got some growing into them, you know, to do. But, uh, I don't know. What kind of dog would you guys say that she is? She, uh, her ears aren't completely standing up yet. That's another reason I think she's a puppy still. Um, she has a long tail. Also, and she'll let y'all see her face. You gonna let them see your face, honey? You gonna look? Look at the computer. Look at the computer. No, don't look at me. Look over there. Look over there. Look. Look. Yeah, you sleepy. Yeah, you sleepy. And she's got some white underneath her. So, um, I, I, she might be a mix. I don't know. Um, but she is really a sweetheart. And, uh, she didn't want to cuddle and go to sleep. She's been trying to go to sleep in my arms. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I just, you know, I couldn't see leaving this little animal out there in the cold. And her was scared and pacing back and forth, like I said, from one door to the other. The building wanting inside and, uh, and everything. So I did at least leave my information should somebody be looking for the dog. Um and everything and plenty of the kids saw me with her and everything so we'll find out what happens next thanks you guys for watching and uh yeah oh she's just so sweet <laughs> i hate to let her go but i'm gonna do the right thing if her parents call or anything is poor kids will be heartbroken the dog falling to school and then she's gone so all right y'all have a blessed week and i'll see y'all soon